To find the surface area of this cone, we are going to use the formula pi times radius to the second power plus pi times radius times the slant height. We know that the value of pi is 3.14. The radius is also given in the problem. However, the slant height is not given in our problem. The slant height is the distance from this point here to this point here. They give us the height of the cone, which is 15 units, and they give us the radius of this cone, which is 8 units. However, they do not give us the slant height. But notice that the height of our cone and the radius of our circle and the length of the slant height form a right triangle. And we know when we know two sides of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of the third side of our triangle. So first I'm going to plug in the value of our radius into our equation, and then I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of the slant height. So first I'm going to write pi times the radius, which in this case is 8 units. We are going to square that plus we are going to multiply pi times our radius, which is also 8, and multiply that by the slant height, um, which we are trying to calculate by using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In other words, we are going to take the two shorter lengths of our triangle, square them, and then add those totals together and that should equal whatever the length of the longest side or the hypotenuse of our right triangle is supposed to be to the second power. A and B are the two shorter sides of your right triangle. We call those the legs of your triangle. So we're going to plug in 8 into A, square that, plus we're going to plug 15 into B and square that, and that will be equal to whatever C is to the second power. 8 to the second power is 64. 15 to the second power is 225. And that is going to be equal to, once again, whatever c squared is. 225 plus 64 is 289. Bring down equals c squared. And now we have to isolate the c and get it all by itself. So we have to eliminate this exponent of 2 right here. And to get rid of an exponent of 2, you do the opposite, which is to do the square root. The square root of something is the opposite of putting something to the second power. So by doing the square root of something to the second power, they actually cancel out, leaving us with only c. And we have to do to one side what we did to the other side. And the square root of 289 is exactly 17. So we would say that C is equal to 17 units, which is our slant height. So I am going to label the L, or slant height, on this side as 17 units. Now that we know that the slant height is 17 units, we are going to plug that into our equation. So I'm going to bring everything down from our previous step, pi times 8 to the second power, plus pi times 8 times the slant height, which we now know is 17 units. 8 to the second power is 64. So for this part of our equation, I'm going to write 64 pi plus 8 times 17, which is 136 pi. And now we have two terms that we can combine because they are like terms. 64 pi plus 136 pi is 200 pi. And because there were no units given, I am just going to write unit squared. If you were asked to solve in terms of pi, we would already have our answer, which would be 200 pi unit squared. If you were asked to find the surface area using 3.14 for pi, you would simply take 200 and multiply that by 3.14 to get your answer. And 200 times 3.14 is equal to 628 square units. So this answer here is the answer that you would give if you were solving using 3.14 for pi, and 200 pi is the answer that you would use 
if you were solving in terms of pi. So as a suggestion, I would always start by solving in terms of pi, even if you are not asked to, because in the end you can simply multiply this 200 by 3.14 to figure out what your answer would be if you had to use 3.14 to represent pi.